Well, I didn't think that this would happen this soon. I figured at some point one of us would fly off to like go visit family and the other would experience solo van life. And um, today's that day. Jimmy is flying to go surprise his sister and celebrate her birthday. And I'm going to stay here in Salt Lake City with the bus. He's going to be gone for five days. And the last time we were apart for this long was six years ago. So my stomach is in knots. This is just such a weird feeling. I think it could be a good experience, but um, right now I'm kind of just wishing he could stay. Oh, love you, Nat. Love you, Jimmy. All right. I just ordered my Uber. We're not driving the bus through the airport, so we parked nearby and I'm just going to get an Uber in. I'm just trying to create as least amount of stress as possible for Natalie, Aww. and so I think this will help. It's only got a few more minutes. <sighs> yep. <laughs> Love you, Matt. Love you. <laughs> I'm 26. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, shouldn't be so hard. Oh. Oh, they found me a new driver. <laughs> He's going to be here 10 minutes earlier. No, really? Yeah. I mean, we're awake at 4 a.m. We might as well get get there as early as you can. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's going to be a fun solo adventure for Natalie. You're going to have fun, too. Yeah. I'm I a little jealous. You get, like, the, you know, you just ride on a plane, get some champagne. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's free, but... That's true, yeah. yeah I'll get peanuts. Yeah, yeah, you get some peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. This is going to be so good. <laughs> Alright, I got to Okay. I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye, be safe. Bye. Let's See go. Ya. Don't forget to go, bro. Okay, thanks. <laughs> So Jamie just left. Um, I really am like looking forward to this experience. It's something like hypothetically that we've known might happen at some point. Like one of us might want to travel and the other one might stay behind and just do like a solo adventure. And like that does sound fun. I just have a lot of trouble saying goodbye, especially to Jimmy. So. Okay, so my plan for this week is not to stay in Salt Lake City. I am not very used to driving the bus, so I don't really want to stick around like a congested city area. My plan is to drive a little... <laughs> oh, that's Jimmy. Got his boarding pass. <laughs> my plan is to drive a little bit west of here to the Bonneville Salt Flats, which is really close to the Nevada-Utah border. I've heard really cool things about it. It looks super scenic in photos, and it should not be very mountainous, which will be good for my level of driving ability in this bus. I'm waiting for the sun to start rising just a little bit so I have some daylight, but I would like to make it out of the Salt Lake City area before it gets too busy with like the morning crowds. All right, the sky is starting to lighten up just a little bit, so I think I'm gonna head out. Wish me luck. It's an hour and a half, and Jimmy left us in a really good position where all I have to do is turn right to get on the interstate, and then I just follow that until I get to my campsite, so. All right, bus. Please. Please start. <laughs>
Okay. Uh, is this it? Well, it is absolutely beautiful here, but the dispersed camping spot I picked out is actually just a rest area. So I'm going to try to find something a little better in the same vicinity. I think there's a lot of good options out here, so it shouldn't be a problem. I can see the salt flats from here though, and they're very cool. I think I found an okay spot. It took me about 30 minutes of slowly crawling down this like washboard road. I was seriously going like five miles per hour the whole time, so it took me a while, but I found a nice spot where I can't see anybody else, and it's very pretty. There's like a mountain next to me, and then there's a huge rock like right at my campsite. I got a really good view. I might stay here for a couple days. I might not really worry about leaving to go into the actual salt flats area until later this week. We'll see, because um, I just don't want to drive back out here again, because... It took quite a while to get to this spot. I just spent the last hour watching YouTube videos of people who got stuck in the salt flats. So now I'm stressing about that. It's gotten super windy. It's like 30 mile per hour winds just out of nowhere. So probably just gonna stay inside the bus today. We are gonna have to like completely wash the bus after this. Cause I think the salt can be really corrosive and it's obviously gonna get all over the bus. I can't even see the mountains in the distance anymore because it is so windy and it's kicking up so much dust outside. I really hope that it doesn't get any worse than this. Cause it's just been picking up all day. The wind is blowing really, really strong, so I, I'm sorry if the bus is like rocking. I feel it too, so we're suffering together. But I decided to get myself a little treat since I was gonna be kind of by myself while Jimmy's on a, what I consider like a vacation for a couple days. Um, so I got myself a pineapple. I thought that would be a fun treat, so I think I'm gonna crack into it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it last five days, but I'm optimistic. I know I've got to be cutting it wrong. I know there's got to be a better way to cut this, but it works. So I have been alone for less than 12 hours. It's already definitely feels very different. Jimmy and I like, we've kind of gotten siloed into our own chores so I make the bed Jimmy washes dishes and we're kind of like that with most everything so having an experience for five days where I do everything is it just feels a little different and I'm already kind of noticing it I think that today is going to be the hardest day and my stress about the wind does not help me feel any better but it will definitely get easier. The winter told this season was bananas from the chest
Day two turned out to be kind of a self-care day. I caught up on some much needed sleep that I've been missing out on and I just, I don't know, made myself some healthy meals. I watched TV. I got in a quick workout, which is why I look so rough. I barely left the bus today and it was honestly kind of nice. So I'm excited to be a little more productive tomorrow. I haven't seen a single other person since I've been out here, which I really like. Honestly, my fear was that I was going to be surrounded by people on this like week alone, so it's been really nice to have some solitude. In everything I'm saying to you, I'm trying to be very careful about my words because I n never want it to come across like I prefer this over traveling with Jimmy. And it's been interesting and I'm trying to get the most out of this experience and being by myself for a few days. It's a rare opportunity and by calling it an opportunity that does not mean that I would not prefer to have Jimmy around it's definitely more comfortable more fun it's the way I want to live every day but this is an opportunity so I'm just embracing it for that it's only been like two days I saw Jimmy yesterday and I'm already getting so reflective and on a soapbox I would say that this turned out to be a pretty good first experience with solo van life. I don't think I prefer um, being alone, <laughs> but I do think it is a cool experience that I can get something out of. And honestly, I can't think of a more beautiful place to be. I can see like all around, it's just flat, salty ground. And then there's obviously mountains behind me. I think there's even a volcano back here. And I don't see anyone else around me like at all. I, it looks like I'm the only one out here. Today is officially day three. I went on a little run today. I feel like that's a nice way to start the day. 
I'm not sure what the rest of today holds, but I think I'm probably gonna stay here around this campsite just because it's so nice and I do wanna see the salt flats. So hopefully the weather's nice later in the week and I'm not blowing my chance today. I decided to come outside and brave the wind a little bit. It's better today than it has been the last several days. But I just had a really close call with the camera almost tipping over that I'm not excited to tell Jimmy about. That was really close. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I caught it, so it was fine. <laughs> All right, guys, for a special treat, Jimmy is back. <laughs> He's here just for this segment because uh, <laughs> I wouldn't let him get away with missing this. I tried to, trust me. So last week, our friend Alyssa challenged us to an ice dunk for mental health. And uh, I nominate these friends right here to take an ice dunk in the name of mental health. Woo! Okay, I'm getting out of here. So we're out here in the mountains of Idaho with the prairie dogs. We got some icy river water. We had every intention to do this in the river, but we don't know how deep it is. And today the current's really strong. So this is the next best option. Yeah, it's really cold and it's super windy. So hopefully this is icy enough. This is the best we got, but we will be donating $100 to the donation fund. And if you're interested, the link will be in our description. All the money goes to supporting mental health. So it's a good yeah. cause. That's yeah. what I keep telling myself because it's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take off my glasses, right? That's okay. the plan. All right. Yep. I got to get ready. Mine's what are heavy. counting down from? I don't Ooh. know. Oh, mine's heavy. <laughs> mine's heavy. <laughs> Three's not big enough. Three. 30. Two, <laughs> 29. <laughs> 28. <laughs> so we'll do three to one and then on go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Three, three two, two, one, go. go. Okay, that was really cold. All right. I'm just trying to get through this. All right. So we nominate these friends right here, Adam and Steph, Nick and Rachel, and Bump and Bus to do the same in the name of mental health. Good luck. Right, let's go inside. <laughs>